in, in a weekday, taking all of the different parts of capacity, it will be between 30 and 40,000 tests so a day would be given capacity. it's between up to 40,000 a day, just looking at the number of tests carried out in Scotland, on Monday it was 15,000, Tuesday 13,000, Wednesday 17,000, Thursday 18,000, Friday 18,000. When we know the R rate is rising in Scotland, infections are rising, the virus is spreading, why on earth aren't you using the full testing capacity? Well, much of the testing capacity, remember, is demand-led. It's people with symptoms, and that's what we want to ensure as we go into... Uh, but you're the using less than of half of the testing capacity. Well, you're saying if, that you've got a great test and trace system, but if you're using half, less than half of the testing capacity when the R rate is going up, when infections are going up, it's not, it doesn't sound like a well-beaten system to well, me. With respect, I was about to try to explain it to you before um, you, you stopped me. Uh, we are building and have been building a testing capacity that is, is not just what we require now, but what we will require as we go into winter. So uh, we want to make sure that we have that spare capacity as we go into winter. We are likely to see more people with symptoms uh, that may be symptoms of COVID or maybe symptoms of flu uh, so that we have that capacity then because this is, uh, to a large extent, a demand-led system. And of course, we have, uh, in terms of the availability of tests, uh, whether that's through, you know, regional testing centres, mobile testing units, the walkthrough centres we've got, uh, we have quick and ready access to, to testing.